What's going on everyone? Welcome back. So today I have scheduled delivery of the flywheel so we can finally put the uh, the tranny back in the vehicle and get the car on the road. In the meantime, let's prepare everything. Let me show you what I'm uh, the replacement clutch. It's a lock, lock OE replacement uh, from FCP Euro. Let me show you uh, the clutch itself. But first and foremost, uh, when you open the box, first thing you need to do is see this this drawer bearing that it comes with. This this is garbage. You throw it out. Also, this pilot bearing that's garbage as well. The only good part from this is the alignment uh, tool, which we'll need, and the physical clutch. Now let's go back to the bench, and I'll show you why. This is no good. See, this is the uh, lock bearing. See all this slap in there? This is not supposed to be like that. This is the uh, the bearing that was inside for 150,000. See, there's no slap uh, and it still works. Now this is the brand new replacement bearing. It's nice and smooth. This one has, so you could hear it. It's definitely been uh, showing its age. So uh, you want to replace it with with a Satch OE uh, replacement uh, bearing instead of this crappy one. This is pure garbage. Also, what you want to get is new pr um, pressure plate bolts and the flyweight bolts. The uh, reason being these are stretch bolts and uh, you're not supposed to reuse them. And also you want to get a FAG pilot bearing which I already showed you how to replace in my other uh, video so we have 90% uh, of the parts the only missing part is the flywheel which should show up here any time now let me uh, move everything under the car so we have every everything is ready for installation I have uh, the uh, lock clutch here on the table comparison to the original pressure plate this is the original 151,000 it just doesn't look bad at all there's really not there's no severe hot spots on it so and like I mentioned before the pressure plate is it wasn't all that worn either but the main issue was the flywheel uh, but this is the lock uh, kit which is an OE replacement this is basically factory clutch without the BMW stamping on it the reason I went with this because these clutches are made uh, to handle uh, basically any NA power that you're gonna uh, mod this car to it I, I don't think there's a reason to upgrade to a higher spec clutch so anyhow this I think this is a perfect fit there's no sense to, to uh, reinvent the wheel here and um, upgrade something that is really not needed one thing i want to mention is see this word here getriebeseite which in german means uh, transmission side when you install it make sure you put this side with the sign pointing towards you because if you put it in the reverse uh, you're gonna have to do this job twice because it's not gonna work there's no english writings on here so Getriebeseite means transmission side in German for all of the people that were wondering. So, um, anyhow. Finally, look what arrived from our friends from FCP Euro. Let's see what we got here. Let's see, and there it is. This is our anticipated Anticipated luck. Let's see. Flywheel. There it is. Look at that. This is heavy. So, time to put the flywheel on. So, there's a dowel here that you need to line it up with. And um, once that's lined up, you just torque it down in a crisscross pattern 77 foot pound Oh, 
funny story. So I was talking all this time how to install this and I realized the camera was not recording. So let me just uh, go over real quick what I uh, did. So um, before you uh, install the pl pressure plate, the, the, the disc inside has wording inside. Get which means the transmission side. So you want to have that German wording facing this way. And then you stick the tool in and um, basically you stick the first half of the tool. I already placed the other half. See so like this. And then uh, you, when you install the pressure plate, the pressure plate actually has a balance mark, which apparently on this pressure plate is this right here. And the flywheel has a balance mark as well. So what you wanna do is, um, you wanna get this mark aligned with this mark as close as possible, no more than 60 degrees. Uh, there's two combinations. So my my uh, my mark is right here. You can't really see it. And there's a dot, white dot over here. Not sure if you could see or not, but anyhow. So the whole purpose of this is that dot cannot be uh, farther than 60 degrees apart from this time uh, this uh, balance mark there's a few combination you could have this mark end up over here and here and this was the closest point so you want to you want to make sure that uh, that balance mark it lines up with the balance mark as close as possible on the flywheel uh, interesting enough on the original clutch this this balance mark is actually place uh closer to the outside i'm not sure why they chose to place it here but hey it is what it is so um just a fun fact you know you want you don't want to risk it and then you have vibrations uh, going on while you after you install it so you want to make sure you get your timing marks within range they uh allow and then once you do that once you tighten these these are the 10.9 more bolts which you need to tighten to to 25 foot pounds uh because there's two varieties of these as well you could get them in 8.8 .8. these are the 10.9 which is 25 foot pound the 8.8 .8 is um is 18 foot pounds so once once you torque these down then you could take this little funny thing it was hooked like this which was holding the pressure plate com, uh, compress and then you just undo it and uh, the springs just uh, spring back and uh, that's how you end up in this situation which again this this damn camera was recording when, when I was talking about it but uh, anyhow so now we could uh, start mating the transmission to the engine everything is looks secure so we should be good so before you uh, put the transmission back in what I, what I did is lifted the engine supported it uh, at the AC mount and lifted it so it's tilted backwards like this so it's easier to slide the transmission in so um, that makes things a lot easier and then I don't know if I mentioned before you want to file this this pin down so the starter goes nice and in nice and smoothly as well without any issue because we had an issue removing it so i used some coarse like 36 grid sandpaper to cut some material you got your bearing installed so we're ready to lift this back up
trick I do for the top ball that actually fell out. Like I was gonna plan to leave it inside, but I was rallying the transmission and it fell out. So I'm gonna put a nice small a small bead of uh, bead or, or um, electric tape around so it holds it but not too tight because you don't want it too tight because then you won't be able to um, get it off and your socket will be left in there something like this so it just holds it but when you go pull it out it's actually um gonna pop right off because um jacket holds it let me just put a secure just like so so you could insert this bolt from the top on the transmission this is the bolt the hardest to get to look at my extension this is freaking huge oh wow that took some effort it's never fun to putting this thing back but hey so we got everything back in um already plugged these plugs bolted everything down the starter these bolts um so now collect connected the linkage here for the uh, shifter make sure there's this clip here that goes over so it's uh, nice and secure so the trick with the bolt and a little bit of tape worked i'm not sure if you could see probably not you can't see the um the bolt in there but anyhow you get the idea so now we're going to assemble the um put the, the drive shaft in um connect it to the new guibo and connect it to the to the diff so um on this side i believe the bolts are 52 uh foot pounds for torque spec on this side and make sure you line it up with the marks that you made before so you don't get any vibration in the drive line. These bolts at the sh at the connection with the diff is uh, 52 foot pounds. Make sure you put them the same as you marked them before. There it is. Now we have to turn the shaft so we can access the other bolts. So maybe I could get this one from the side still. That way we could only have two left. Alright, the CSB, the new CSB, you want to put it in the same marks that you had them marked before. So again, there's no additional vibration in the... Um, in the drive line that you you don't need to over torque it's just like that and we can install the transmission Gonna install the transmission uh, support.
So we're almost there. Button up everything. The heat shield is on, so now it's time to reintroduce the exhaust. And we could finally test this damn thing out. Uh, I definitely spent too much time under here already, so I'm gonna get ready to get this back on the road. this fashion we have completed the uh, dreaded clutch replacement wow this took a while but hey we're done exhaust fitted every panel is fitted here all the way to the back now we just have to fit this the skid plate but I'm not gonna do that as yet because I'm gonna improve while I have this the skid pay off I'm gonna improve on this situation and replace the front control arm bushing with some nice upgrades which you're about to see in the next uh, video so until then i will catch you on the next one